Alright, why am I showing you a bucket of ice with wire sticking out of it? Well, what I've been doing here is uh, removing rust off of metal parts with uh, a battery charger. Um, I'll show you how I do that. What I've been doing is cleaning off uh, brake cylinders so I can rebuild them. Uh, this works really good for parts that are you know, kind of hard to get the rust off of. These are ones that have already been done, already cleaned off, ready to go. And they started off looking something like this. Really rusty, nasty, garbage pieces. And uh, here's a couple that I was washing off and they kind of got iced in. But how this works is basically you have to have a battery charger, a uh, plastic bucket, a piece of metal, a sacrificial piece of metal that you don't mind uh, losing, and uh, whatever part you want to clean. <coughs> um, the solution in here is just uh, one gallon of water to one tablespoon of washing soda. Now I've heard baking soda works too, but I haven't tried it. Um, if you can't find washing soda, what I did was I took baking soda and uh, put it in the oven for know, about an hour or so at uh, 450 degrees and made washing soda. Alright, now where was I? Um, oh yeah, how to make washing soda from baking soda. What you do is you take baking soda, spread it out on a cookie sheet, uh, put it in the oven at uh, about 400 degrees or so for about an hour. And then uh, what that'll do is it'll cook off all the excess water and release carbon dioxide and what you'll end up with is basically washing, washing soda. And uh, that's what I did <coughs> to get my washing soda because I went to a few places and I couldn't find it. So I just made it. Now uh, when you do this, you want to run your charger at about 10 amps. Um, I doubt this one is actually putting out 10 amps because it's pretty old, but it's kind of a piece of, piece of shit, but it works at whatever whatever I'm doing so um, when you pull the pieces of metal out they'll be black like this but what you can do is just wash that black stuff off and you have nice shiny metal <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these uh, buckets into the house let them thaw out and then uh, while I'm doing that I'll probably take apart these brake cylinders and uh, clean them up uh, throw them in there and I'll show you how it works well, right here is the uh, wheel cylinder I'm going to take apart and fix. Um, generally, nobody rebuilds these things, but, uh, you know, I'm going to do it just because. Uh, first off, you got to take these little boots off. They just pop right off, like that. And then you're going to want to get these little pistons out. Now, this one, obviously, is in there pretty good. But we'll see if we can... Oh, well, I guess we can't push it out that way. I'm just going to take uh, this, this random bolt and I'm just going to pop it back like that and you'll have, there's one piston pretty nasty in there and then I'll just go ahead and <coughs> keep going that way with this one so it falls out the bottom and there you go, there's the other piston. And now I'm going to take this, spray it down with brake cleaner, clean off all the, the grease and the oil and crap, and then it'll be ready to go into the tank to get the rust removed. And these are pretty simple. What you get in a rebuild kit is basically these and new seals for these. You don't get the, uh, <coughs> the pistons most of the time, so you'll want to clean those up and reuse them. And that's pretty much how you take one apart. Not much to it. Alright, well, uh, my water is thawed out. It's still pretty filthy, but uh, it ought to work just fine. So, uh, what I've got in here is I've got my sacrificial piece of metal. Just an old, uh, an old hub. Nothing, uh, nothing I need. And uh, you got to kind of clean these off after you use them every so often, but that'll work just fine the way it is. And here are my my uh, brake cylinders I want to clean up, wheel cylinders. Uh, 
all I've done is sprayed them off and cleaned off the grease and stuff. And uh, so I've got that on a little pull on a rod thing here. We'll dip those into the water and just get them close to that other piece of metal. All right, like that. You want to make sure they don't touch. And we'll take our negative lead from our battery charger and we'll make a good connection on here. And you got to make sure you got a good connection <coughs> on all your connections, otherwise it won't work so good. And then I've got my positive lead on the sacrificial piece already. So we can go ahead and plug in the battery charger. And do this with one hand. Okay, battery charger is plugged in. Now we'll turn it on to 10 amps. And we should begin to see bubbles coming up uh, from this milky soup here. I'm not milky, dirty soup. Hopefully we've got a good connection everywhere. Well, it seems to be sparking, so should be working. I'll turn it up to uh, 50 just to, for a little bit engine start. Make sure we're getting some sort of connection. Oh yeah, see all those bubbles in there? At least I think you can see them. That, uh, that means it's working. So I can turn it back down to 10 amps. And then we'll just, uh, I guess, just wait. And then I'll pull them out when they're done and uh, show you what they look like. Well, it's been running for probably less than an hour now. And uh, you can really see the bubbles start to come up now, which means it's working. So uh, what I'm going to do is pick this up, turn it around so the back side of the wheel cylinders get uh, exposed, and then uh, we'll let it go from there. See if we can see a difference yet. Yeah, there's a little bit of difference. We'll flip them around. We'll let the other side, uh, other side go for a bit. see how that works. Now in the interest of time I'm not gonna let that one finish. I'm just gonna show you what they look like when they come out. Just like a good cooking show I have examples already done. Anyway they'll come up they'll come out and they'll be black like this. And this black stuff basically just uh, just wipes off as you can see. Uh, you'll take a little brush to it and you'll clean it all off. You may get some rust, and if that rust doesn't uh, doesn't flake off in the water when you scrub it, then you'll have to put it in again for a while. But uh, usually they'll come out like this, and they'll be good to go. You can scrape all that off. Yuck! And then after you're done, should look something like this, nice and pretty shiny. Don't touch them with wet hands; you'll freeze. <laughs> But after you pull them out, you got to cover them with something, otherwise they'll rust up again. These ones I've just dipped in a little bit of oil to uh, keep them from rusting. Um, if you're going to paint them, paint them right away after they're dry. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you remove rust with electricity. Sweet.